aqui. Fica aqui, criança. Fica aqui, criança. Não se deixa bem aqui, criança. Aqui, criança. Aqui. Ai, que que cadê? Toma, seu corpo. Chique. Hey, let me brush you while we do. Do this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Hello. And welcome to Kiki's Corner. Where Kiki reigns supreme. Kiki, come here. Here we do whatever Kiki wants, which is read a story. She loves to read. For those of you who don't know, Kiki is this cat. She's my best friend. And I love her very much. And she is um, an angel. Actually, I would call her... I would call her the Empress of Earth and Fire. <laughs> He's, and she's in charge of the all the tectonics in this Earth. No key, look how well. Hey, Kiki. Come here. Shh. Yeah. Right now, she's chilling out. But basically... I'm going to read Kiki a story, and I'm putting it on here to show my family, because I live far from home, and I think it would be nice if we'd all just share a story. So I'm going to sit here with Kiki in this corner and read to her what all has been told our um, special hello to my mom and my dad and Lance and all of my friends. I love you all and I hope if you're watching this, if you'll take a moment come here, with Kiki to take a deep breath. Exhale, and just have a moment. No, Kiki, we're not sitting in front of the plant. Just gonna relax, yeah. And I'm going to read Frog and Toad Are Friends. A special to hello to Frog from Toad. If you know, you know. Frog and Toad are Friends by Arnold LaBelle. Oh, and I have to wear my reading glasses. Shout out to Granny. Ooh, this is a great start. Spring. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. There's no answer. Toad, Toad, shouted Frog. What? Wake up. It is spring. Blah, said a voice from the inside of the house. Toad, Toad, cried Frog. The sun is shining. Kiki. The sun is shining. The snow is melting. Wake up. I am not here, said the voice. <laughs> Kiki, come here. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kiki. Kiki. 
Stop sniffing the shoes. Bruh. Seriously. Thank you. I'm reading you a beautiful tale. You need to listen. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love it, girl. This is for you. Listen to me, okay? You can chill. You can chill. Yeah. Just chill. Just chill. Kiki. Listen. This is you, okay? Frog walked into the house. It was dark. All the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you? cried Frog, called Frog. Go away, said the voice from the corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled all the covers over his head. Frog pushed Toad out of bed. He pushed him out of the house and onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I cannot see anything. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April. And it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through the meadows and run through the woods and swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here on this front porch and count the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I'm going back to bed. Everyone, let's take a sip of our water off the, off the, off, out of the plot, side plot. Period. Sorry. How do you think about the Skiki so far? Oh, she loves it. She's like, today you were giving Toad. And I was. And I am Toad. In the dichotomy of Frog and Toad, I'm a Toad. And today I was a little grump, but it's okay. It was rainy. It's like April showers bring May flowers. It's still March. Okay, it was sunny yesterday. It'll be sunny again. <sighs> Kiki. Kiki. <clears throat> Frog went back into the house. He got into the bed and pulled the covers over his head again. But Toad, cried Frog, you will miss all the fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad. How long have I been asleep? You have been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad, a little more sleep will not hurt me. <laughs> Come back again and wake me up at about half past May. Good night, Frog. Toad. <laughs> oh, be no grump. But Toad, said Frog, I will be lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He'd fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Frog tore off the November page. He tore off the December page. He tore off the January page and the February page and the March page came to the April page. Frog tore off the April page too. <laughs> She's looking at herself in the mirror. She's literally like, I'm so beautiful. She's like, stop. She's like, I look really good right now. Girl, it's okay. Good Kiki. Good Kiki. Okay. said Frog. I will be lonely until then. 
Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Oh, I just read this all again. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> Stop, that was so funny. <laughs> then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad, Toad, wake up. It is May now. Wow, gaslighting. That's hilarious. That's really funny. Can it be May so soon? What, said Toad? Can it be May so soon? Yes said frog look at your calendar oh my god he literally said may to look at the calendar the may page was on top why it is may said toad as he climbed out of bed then he and frog ran outside to see how the world was looking in the spring oh, oh. And this is actually what I have tattooed. Isn't that kind of beautiful? Look at that. Wow. And just for context, me and my best friend May drew this. Um, I drew Toad, she drew Frog. I drew the Marigold, she drew, um, or she drew the Moonflower. Me and I'm tattooed about a year ago. I love you, May. Sweet May. Chapter two. The story. <clears throat> One day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Toad said, Frog, you're looking quite green. <laughs> but I always look green. Said frog, I'm a frog. Oh my god, that's so frog. <laughs> Today you look very green even for a frog. Oh, that's so funny. Said Toad, get into my bed and rest. Aw, Toad made frog a cup of hot tea. Frog drank the tea and then he said, tell me a story while I am resting. All right, said Toad. Let me think of a story to tell you. Take a deep breath together. Toad is thinking of a story. Toad thought and thought, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'll go out on the front porch and walk up and down, said Toad. Perhaps that will help me. Think of a story. Toad walked up and down on the front porch for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Toad has writer's block. That's so real. Just looking at myself again. Who could blame her? She's a cat. Maybe she's watching us in a different way. Then Toad went into the house and stood on his head. Why are you standing on your head? Asked <laughs> Frog. I hope that if I stand on my head, it'll help me think of a story. Oh, yeah, this is funny. Said Toad. Toad stood on his head for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad poured a glass of water over his head. Why are you pouring water over your head? Asked Frog. I hope that if I pour water over my head, it will help me to think of a story. Toad poured many glasses of water over his head, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Look at him. Then Toad began to bang his head against the wall. Never do this. Why are you banging your head against the wall? Asked Frog. 
I hope that if I bang my head against the wall hard enough, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad, you're doing way too much. I am feeling much better now, Toad, said Frog. I do not think I need a story anymore. Then you get out of my bed and let me get into it, said Toad. Because now I feel terrible. Frog said, would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Yes, said Toad, if you know one. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Over. Take a sip of your water, girlies. Once upon a time, said Frog, there are two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend, the toad, to tell him a story. The toad could not think of a story. He walked up and down on the porch, but he could not think of a story. He stood on his head, but he could not think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he could not think of a story. He banged his head against the wall, but he could still not think of a story. Then the toad did not feel so well, and the frog was feeling better. So the toad went to bed, and the frog got up and told him a story. The end. How was that, toad? But Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Did you like that, Kiki? So we're gonna take a quick water girly break and have a little bit of a Kiki review moment. So Kiki, um, Kiki, we're gonna give her thoughts. Kiki, what did you think of Frog and Toad in springtime? She liked that one best um, because yesterday was the spring equinox and she felt like that like set a really good um, little fable moment. And then how do you think of the story? She's like, it's giving you when you have writer's block. And she's like, and I think the moral of the story is that frog showed Toad that stories are possible because, like, you know, anything can be a story. I think that's what the moral of that story was, is that anything could be a story. Kiki was like, I'm bored. It's okay, Kiki. You did a really good job. You want to read another one or do you want to read? We'll read another one later. But we thank you for coming to Kiki's Corner and sharing a tale with us. Kiki, come here, baby. Yeah. Come here. Come say bye, Kiki. Bye. We love you. Go free, roam free, my chunk. Until next time. <laughs>